All right, we're gonna do today a little bit different. Uh, I'm actually gonna be outside. It's a, uh, it's not too bad out here. We've got just a little bit of humidity. I'm here in South Texas, but the mowers come in. They mowed. Got the fresh grass smell going on. Uh, so yeah, I just, I figured I'd come outside and, and do my little update review right here. Hi, right, let's go over some things that people don't talk about. People don't talk about. Um, people talk. Let's go. Well, People talk more about the constipation and and some of their weight loss and their gastro issues. But what about whenever you're losing weight? How do you feel? Obviously, we're supposed to feel good, right? But what about you know us on the Manjaro? What it does is, as we're losing weight, we lose nutrients, 100%. Freaking mosquitoes are flying around. Maybe I uh, you know this was a bad idea to walk outside. So as you're on Manjaro or Wagovi or whatever it is and you're losing weight, you're you're expelling a lot of water and you're losing a lot of a lot of electrolytes. That's just plain and simple. And with losing the water and the electrolytes the way that you are, that's one of the reasons why we have such bad GI issues. It's because of that. If you would actually um, make sure that you're getting adequate water. Make sure that you're getting adequate electrolytes. A lot of that wouldn't happen. So in terms, you know, certain things that you do, you know, your, your food intake, and that's the thing, we're getting less food, we're getting less nutrients once you go to something like Manjaro. So you, you're eating a lot less, you're getting less of your micronutrients as well. I wanna talk about how we feel. I tell you what, I feel tired and sluggish. But I also feel good. I feel my back. My back is, I can feel that it's not as, it doesn't hurt as much. Where before, my getting out of bed, I'd actually have to hold on to my, um, my nightstand a little bit because my back would actually hurt. So another thing is I still get um, muscle cramps. So muscle, muscle cramps will be one of the worst ones that I could actually possibly get. Is muscle cramps. As long as you are getting, uh, you know, enough water and adequate sodium, magnesium, just your normal, you know, everyday electrolytes. My biggest, my biggest, biggest, biggest is literally my muscle cramps. Even down getting on a treadmill. Getting on a treadmill is my calves, my quads, everything. I'm so dehydrated even though I drink water. All right, so when I talk about that I drink water, I drink water, okay? Uh, I, I know it kind of looks like urine a little bit in here. I'll talk about that here in just a sec. Uh, again, nothing sponsored in this video. Uh, these right here are really nice. Uh, I have one, my wife has one, my daughter has one. Uh, but look, look at it. Good morning. Hydrate yourself. Remember your goal. Keep chugging. Feeling awesome. Don't give up. Almost finished and you did it. So, and it gives you time. 7 a.m. all at 9 a.m. all the way to 9 p.m. So, this is your adequate water. You're, we're supposed to be sucking in uh, 64 ounces in one day. Okay. An average person. We're talking about average now. We are the exception of being average if you're on Manjaro or you got diabetes a lot of these are, you're going to need extra water. Just remember, water can be toxic, okay? So I think it's, uh, whatever four of these is equal to, I think it's 64 ounces. It's roughly, I think it's I think it's a, a hundred ounces or one liter or two liters. Our kidneys can't process more than that an hour. So that's the hence why this is. So between seven and nine right here, you don't drink at seven o'clock. You don't drink all the way to nine. You can, it ain't going to hurt you none, but if you drink seven, you, you take some, and then you go to the next one, you take some uh, until that time, and then your next time, your next time, next time. But anyways, um, then you're getting plenty of water. But just remember, if you do too much water, if you do not have, if, you, if, if your urine looks like that, you're doing too much. So again, like I said, non-sponsored. One of my biggest electrolytes that I do is this right here. So it gives me some uh, amino acids, gives me some of my, uh, gives me all my electrolytes, gives me everything. I also put Celtic salt in here. So I do mix it. Uh, it makes a heck of a mixture. 
even though this is supposed to be served up in like one of these bottles, I serve it into here and you put four bottles in here. So I'll put one scoop in this whole thing right here. So uh, it's, it's been helping keep me hydrated a little bit more. Again, it's just you need to make sure that you're getting adequate enough uh, fluids. Be, not only in liquid form, but in food form, salads and, and all your foods that you're eating is all there's there's water base in everything that we eat. So make sure you're getting your fruits and vegetables. But I'll leave some uh, some links to this stuff down below, the water bottle, the the nutrients. Again, if you're getting into the gym and you're wanting to get a little bit extra -ness, we also got. You know, something like my pump mode right here. Again, it's uh, stimulant-free, noxious oxide. Got, got some stuff that's going to help put m water, take the water from your system and, and put it back into your muscles so your muscles can utilize it. You got creatine. Uh, I, I already started my creatine, but I'm, I'm doing it over a period of time, so it's going to take about three weeks to get into my system. So we, it should be starting to get in here pretty quick. But no, really and truly, I, again, that's that's my biggest one. So the other one that I have, cotton mouth, is still here. Dry mouth is still here. So I uh, imagine that's going to just be a big one for me. Again, I have no no choppers in, so maybe I get affected a little different because I have no teeth. So I, I don't know. Uh, what else is there? Oh, so the first time I took Manjaro, literally a week later, instead of having constipation, I had, uh, you know, the loose stool, uh, you know, little liquid stool. Then that went away. I thought that I might have been doing too much kombucha tea or tea, green tea or whatever. But now that I restart, whenever I started the five milligram a week later, what happened? Loose stool again or liquid stool. So and it only lasts for about two days. So, or 24 hours. It's like a, tw it's almost like a 24 hour bug. It's like, it's really weird. And it's right at the, oh, excuse me, right at the same time. You know, it was one week later. Other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm not seeing, seeing nothing. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll put my weight up right here. So this is the new weight. Obviously it's not that, you know, it, it's still weight, but. It's not big numbers, which I'm glad it's not big, big, huge numbers. I don't want to drop too much. Uh, I'll go ahead and put my inches up right here. So this is how many inches. So again, what what is that? Almost, almost a full inch in a week. You know, uh, three quarters of an inch. I guess that's that's something, right? Uh, this week here, my gobbler feels a little like it's it's there. I I don't get it, but. Maybe I got a little extra water puffiness today. I, I don't know. I mean, my ring still comes on and off. My wife is loving this. She She's absolutely loving this, that I get to wear my ring again. I'm so happy that I get to wear my ring again because, I mean, again, I feel like a, a, a bad person or a bad husband for not wearing my ring. Even though, I, I again, I put it right here around my necklace whenever uh, I couldn't wear it, but yeah, just make sure you're staying hydrated. Make sure you're getting electrolytes, but no, this is my fifth week update, but my sixth injection, we're going into the, to the sixth week. Uh, the only thing I got to do today is I give this a little time to, when I probably inject, I give it a little time to calm down. And then, um, I go do my vitamin B12 shots. Uh, cause I do have vitamin B12 deficiency, vitamin D deficiency. And we're hoping that, some of this that's going on here is what was causing the other, but we don't know what I'm ready for is I me. Mean, I'm not ready for it. Cause it just pushes, pushes a uh, time away, you know, and we don't have enough time on this world as it is, but I am ready for my next blood work. So I'm ready to see where some of my numbers of my blood work is uh, falling in as far as my cholesterol and everything else. But this is a review. I'm reviewing the Manjaro, my journey of it. So uh, if you like other product reviews, check out my other reviews. Uh, I, I have a lot, a lot of product reviews and a lot more coming. But I'm Thomas of Tomology. I'll catch you on the next one.